The school year is starting to pick up, so today I just have a quick tutorial showing you how to have your light flares automatically flicker with music and hit film. For this to work in Express, you need to have purchased the audio-visual pack for the atomic particle effect. I'm Javert Valbar for InscapeDigital.com. Let's get started. I've already imported a song, so I'll go ahead and drag it down into the timeline. Then I'll create a plane, name it Flare, and make it white. Drag the atomic particles effect onto it. Then come into the controls panel and drop down the particle placement, then number of particles options. Go ahead and set the X and Y to 1, so that you just have one very small dot in the middle of the screen. Then come down to particle appearance and increase the size a little bit. Go to audio interaction and set the audio layer to the music. Under map 1, Set the map to either particle opacity or particle size. I found that both work just fine, and it depends on the flare you're using and the look you're going for. Now drop the auto light flares effect onto the same layer. I'll set the type to digital blocks, then under hotspot generation, lower the threshold and increase the intensity and scale. If you can see the particle below, lower the size of it and increase the strength. These settings take some playing around with to get right, and I haven't found a foolproof way to make sure that the flare is visible on the right beats. It completely depends on your audio, so just keep trying different combinations until it looks good. But this is the basic setup you need to make it work. If you want to incorporate the flare on top of your footage, it's the same as it's always been. Put your video below the plane, and set the flare's blending mode to add or screen. In the next tutorial, we'll be revisiting the atomic particles effect to create a sci-fi looking title sequence. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.